Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup look on the new um, Lorac and Beauty and the Beast collection. I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette. I think it's beautiful. I recently did a review once watch video on the whole entire collection, so I will leave that link down below as well as everything that I'm using in the video. Now, just as a close-up, if you guys didn't see my haul, this is how the packaging looks. It's adorable. And then this is how the inside looks. It just comes with a whole bunch of shades there. In my review, I did say that it was a little bit difficult for me to actually create a look using just this palette. However, I'm going to try to do that today, so we'll see how it works out. So let's get started. I pretty much did my base already, so I'm just going to share with you guys my eyes. The first shade that I'm going to go in with is this one. This one is called Chip In, and it's just a nice matte creamy color. Um, like I said in my review that these do kick up a lot of product, but I'm just going to put this on my whole eye to create a nice base for everything to go nicely on. <laughs> the next shade I'm going to go in with is TikTok, and this is a nice matte rosy color. So I'm just going to put that in my crease and blend that back and forth. And I am using the brush that did come in the actual palette. But you could see this looks really light in the actual pan, but um, on the eye it does show. Like it's pretty intense. Well, this brush is actually really nice to apply like the initial transition shade, so I like it. The next shade we're going to go into is this one. This is Look Beyond, and it's a nice kind of camely color. So that I'm going to actually put in the crease as well, basically where I put the purple shade. So put the brush in the middle and then blend back and forth. It's not going to give a crazy amount of color, but it is going to give a little bit of warmness to the actual eye. After that's blended in, I'm going to take a clean, fluffy brush and just go over everything I just did so it could create a nice, seamless, blended out effect. And it shouldn't look harsh or anything. So like really lightly, just going over it. The next shade we're going to go in with is Romance. This is a nice wine color and I'm just going to put that in the crease to deepen it up a little bit. I'm going to take a smaller shader brush and just literally place it in the actual crease. So kind of like this, put it, I put it in the middle and then I just go back and forth just to create the initial amount of color that I want there and then I will blend it out, or will I? I'm just gonna take a little bit more and again deepen it up just a little bit and then blend afterwards. And then I'm gonna use the same brush as I used previously, just a regular fluffy brush to obviously fix up the harshness going on but um yeah you could see it creates a nice amount of like depth to the actual crease i love it it's a beautiful color and then after that's blended into my liking i'm going to go in with my castle and put that on the actual lid i'm not going to use any like um glue i'm just going to put it on like that so i'm just going to put it on my finger and then place it on the actual lid in a tapping motion actually swiping a little bit and then obviously putting it up to where the other shade starts. Now onto the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with Romance, just, you know, straight up wine color. I don't really have patience putting, you know, light to dark. And I'm gonna put this under my eye. Basically packing on the color and then I'm gonna blend it out afterwards. And then of course, I'm just gonna blend out the lower lash line with a clean brush. So after that is done, I'm going to line my lower lash line and my tight line. And then what I'm going to do is tight my upper lash line with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper um, very thinly. So, gosh. A little bit of a tip if you feel like you made a mistake and you went like on your actual eyelid just go back in there with the same um eyeshadow and it can cover it up nicely and then you can never really tell that you made a mistake and even if you could who really cares <laughs> right and then i'm just gonna curl my lashes with my like 97 year old uh tarte lash curler And then I'm going to coat my lashes with the Clarins Mascara Supra Volume. This is a beautiful mascara if you're looking for a nice amount of volume. I recently got this from Octoly. Complimentary and I've been loving it. It also smells so good. And you have to see how it makes my lashes look. Like literally bomb ass. So I love this. It's a little bit more on the 
I would say wet side, but not too wet. It's not like clumping it. It's just making it extremely voluminous and beautiful. I love it. The wand is not too big. The wand is not too small. Look, it's so pretty. After my lashes look sexy AF, I'm going to be putting on some cocoa lashes. I'll leave the style below. You could leave it without lashes. I think it's still beautiful without it, but if you want it to be a sl slightly more dramatic, um, I think lashes are a really nice touch. So once we have these lashes on, I'm going to go in with a brow bone highlighter. I'm going to go in with this one, which is called Dream It. It is so beautiful. Let's see. Beautiful. I love it. It's extremely intense. But I think it adds a nice touch. So this is pretty much the finished look. I'm then going to go ahead and set my face with this Kate Somerville makeup setting spray. And it has SPF 50. Um, so it's good, you know, for outside. I did receive this from Octoly Complimentary and I've been loving it. I'm just going to cover up my eyes. It smells delicious and it's like an air, aerosol, aerosol. So it just like sprays for like ever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys got some ideas on how to use this specific palette. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.